Uh, okay, guys, um, nothing professional going on here, but I'm just going to do a quick review of this new telescope that I got. It is the uh, Celestron uh, Power Seeker 70 EQ, which stands for Equatorial Mount, um, which is here. Uh, not that you need to see all that. Let me just give you some, some uh, background here. Uh, I did have, I, I'm, I am somewhat experienced with telescopes. I did have a Mead LX200 8 inch uh, reflector, um, you know, with the go to capability and real nice telescope. But it was pretty big, pretty heavy. I didn't use it a whole lot. And I sold it a couple of years ago when I was moving. Um, I'm in a new place now, and I thought it would be a good idea to have a telescope, but I just have a pretty good view. It's kind of dark skies. But I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, I bought this thing on Amazon for like sixty bucks. Um, th the new version of this goes for I think it's ninety five dollars. I bought a used like new version on Amazon. I think it was fifty eight dollars and three bucks shipping, so sixty one dollars. And a lot of people will say, well, you should get a bigger telescope, or you should get one that has this, that, or the other thing, whatever. But, you know, I mean, you, you can spend three, four, or five thousand dollars on a telescope, no problem. This thing right here was 61 bucks. So, you know, whatever. I, even if the, the thing is a complete, you know, crap out, it's still 61 bucks. I mean, I'm not going to be, you know, broke spending that kind of money. But just a couple of thoughts on this. Um, it's actually pretty good. I, I've never had a refractor, which is what this is, but I can see. Uh, the moon amazingly well. I can see Jupiter. I can see Saturn. I can see Mars. I haven't tried it on any deep sky objects. Um, I, and it's probably not great for that, but you can do terrestrial observing very well. Um, it does not have a motor like my other telescope had, but what it does have are these little uh, slow motion controls. This is uh, declination, slow motion control, and this is right ascension here. And you just kind of turn it like that, and you can get the telescope to do and go pretty much wherever. Uh, you've got the uh, latitude. Whoop! Hold on a sec. Latitude adjustment there. Uh, I'm like 37 degrees, but I just kind of do whatever with that. Um, little eyepiece thing here. Let me. Sorry. Let me. You can adjust this pretty much wherever you want to go. So I have it like that right now, but you can go like this or straight up or to the side or whatever. I have the 20 millimeter eyepiece in there right now. It does come with a 20 millimeter and a four. Uh, the four is, uh, oh, I got it in here. Um, that's the four right there. Not that you need to really know that, but, and, and this is the 20 in there. It doesn't really matter. You can get better eyepieces. These are not the best eyepieces in the world. Um, the, the tripod's pretty good. It's kind of flimsy. I mean, it's steady enough, but you know, it's not like the best tripod you're ever going to get. Uh, this is the box by the way. Um, and some other stuff on there too. But anyway, that's the box. Little instruction thingy down there, you know, with pictures about how to put it together. Uh, here's the counterweight, you know, equatorial mount, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into all that. Just give you some, you know, brief uh, thoughts about it. Um, it it's kind of, it's not the most steady thing in the world. I mean, if you stick your, I'll take this cap off. If you stick your 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 eye down there to look in the in the uh, eyepiece, it, it kind of shakes a little bit, and you kind of have to t take your eye off to let it steady out. Uh, here's the focus right here, you know, like that. Um, when you're focusing, the object is going to shake. And so you kind of focus, it shakes some, then you take your hand off and let it steady out, see if you got the focus okay. Then go back to it, it shakes some, take your hand off, and it steadies out again. But but anyway, I, I think it's really pretty good. I, let me see if there's a better shot of it. Yeah, there's the whole thing, the tripod fully extended and everything. Um, but just in general, I mean, you know, for 61 bucks, I mean, come on. I, I, I feel pretty good about it. I can see... You know, the, the solar system objects really well. Um, and the moon is really spectacular with this thing. I mean, you can see the moon extremely well with this. And just that, you know, to me is worth 60 bucks to be able to see the moon really cool 
and the craters very clearly and, and stuff like that. Uh, I can also see Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to be seeing super distant objects, but whatever, that's fine. But again, for 60 bucks to be able to see the moon in a really great way, and also some of the planets, I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, I would give a thumbs up to this, especially if you can get it for like $60 like I did. Um, fun telescope. I, I don't even mess with like all the like right ascension numbers and declination. Let me come around here. Uh, like all these numbers and everything. I don't even mess with that. I just, you know, undo these little knobs here and, you know, move the thing, you know, and the knob here. I, I just undo these, move the thing as I need to. I find what I'm looking for in the finder scope. And then I just keep it centered with these thingies, with the adjustments. And that's fine. So, you know, you don't have to be some expert in uh, astronomy or even understand right ascension and declination and all that kind of stuff to have fun with this. So for 60 bucks, yeah, I definitely give a thumbs up to it. Bought it off Amazon and I've been happy with it. You know, it's not the Hubble, but you know, for $60, what do you expect? Uh, but again, I've been happy with it. So hopefully it's something if you get, you'll like too. Those are my two cents on it. Uh, hope it helps and uh, thanks and uh, have a great day. See ya.